This video covers the statuses section of the order tracking plugin settings, explaining how to create and modify statuses, and showing a before and after visual where appropriate. The table visible when you load the page shows all your current statuses, including the default ones and any that you created during the walkthrough when you activated the plugin. Each row is a different status. The status column indicates the name of each status. The percentage complete column indicates what completion percentage you would like to assign to a status. This is used to fill in the tracking graphic. Please make sure to have one and only one status with a percentage of zero and one status with a percentage of 100. This will ensure the graphic displays correctly. The email column indicates which email will be sent when an order is assigned this status. You can choose an email that you created in the email settings tab or an email you created using the ultimate WP mail plugin. If you would like these emails to be sent for every status update, Make sure you have the Order Email Frequency option in the Basic tab, set to On Change. The Internal Status column indicates whether or not the status should be set to Internal only. An internal status does not update the order when it is viewed by visitors on your site, which will still show the previous status. And setting an order to an internal status does not trigger notifications, if those are enabled. To modify an existing status, Simply click in any of its fields and either write in your updated content or select a different option, depending on the field. Remember to click the Save Changes button when done. To create a new status, click the Add button at the bottom of the table and then fill in each field. Make sure to give the status a unique name and completion percentage. Then choose which email you would like to send when an order is set to this status and whether or not you would like it to be an internal status. When you're done, click the Save Changes button. To remove a status, just click the delete link to the right of the status and then click the Save Changes button. 